when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today granny mm -hmm. what are we getting into today look like you getting into some bananas now listen here old lady she i want you to give me all your money all of it give me all your you're gonna bring a you're gonna bring a knife to a banana fight <laughs> you know i wouldn't cut you I love you too, lady. All right, so uh, right now, man, we're about to be, well, not right now. We're actually waiting on the package to get here, and then we're going to be heading to Sacramento. We're actually going to be dropping the C6 off over at Saxby Shop. We got a few things that we're going to be uh, uh, catching up on and taking care of. You guys remember on the dyno video, when we had that thing dyno, thermostat got stuck closed, ended up pulling the thermostat out, and since then, the thermostat hasn't been in the C6. So we're going to be getting a new thermostat in. I'm actually going to be running a new DeWitt's uh, fan combo. These fans are made by Spall. They're their 11-inch uh, dual brushless fan setup. Like, this kit is so new. Like, it's literally a prototype. It's not anywhere on the DeWitt's website. Um, it's basically the DeWitt's shrouding and everything from Spall. And it has their 11-inch brushless fans. Supposedly, it flows double the CFM or pressure rating of the current fans and of the old dual fan setup that most C6 owners usually run when they're doing the ANA kit. Usually we do the cut down radiator with the dual 11 inch fans, but the new 11 inch brushless fans are supposed to be like out this world. So we're gonna be throwing those on. On top of that, um, I do have the new uh, booster pump that I've been waiting for. We've been having a pressure drop issue with fuel. So you guys know that the C6 is wildly turned down right now. So once we get this new pump on, hopefully we can uh, turn this thing back up, get our desired boost level where we should be at, and throw all the timing back at it and make more power. So that's going to be the plan. Um, I actually have a few runs coming up. So you guys seen the last couple of videos where uh, we got the race to G35, or we got the race to G37. Uh, the G37 was tuned by admin tuning. Since that video, of course, you have like the admin tuned uh, people like, oh, I want to race you on a race. Let's race, let's race. Uh, so we're going to be doing uh, some runs with some boosted Gs and Zs that are tuned by admin. Uh, no, so I think, I think we got three lined up with turbo cars. So. Should be fun. Um, on the other end, it's like you guys know I don't I don't care about racing, but it's more of a like it's kind of like an ego thing for some people, where it's like you know I don't care, but you know I'm gonna nitpick and poke around on uh, on Instagram, you know, just to just to rile up some stuff and stir things up. But realistically, y'all know, man, I don't I really don't care about racing like that. So uh, at the end of the day, for me, it's just gonna be I'm out there having fun. I'm out there be making content. So regardless, win, lose, gap people get gapped. I'm still gonna have fun and I'm gonna still be getting paid. Ain't that right, Granny? Yep. Do I care about racing? Drifting. Yeah, see, Granny know. My my bread and butter and heart of everything is drifting. So drag racing for me is just like uh whatever. Like I feel like anything can be fast with enough power and grip, so it's an easy thing to do. But we are gonna be having some some runs and stuff, uh probably sometime next week with these boosted admin car so it should be fun should be good content for y'all and yeah i'm i'm always down for action man so all right so this is the new booster pump that's be going that's gonna be going on the c6 i'm not really a fan of booster pumps but my tuner was like dude this is what we need to get over the hill right now on the c6 so you're gonna be throwing this on jms fuel max I really need to do a fuel system on, on the C6, man. Uh, once I get ready to pull it down, I'll, uh, I'll do, the, do the fuel system. I just I just really don't want to spend like five grand doing that fuel system right now. For innovation system is like, like 2300 and yeah, new injectors and all that, it starts adding up. So this gets me over the hump. It's just, ah, me and my tuner were talking about it. It's just like, there's so much power left on the table if I just do the fuel system and pull this thing down. But 
I mean, I feel, I feel right now we, we're, at a, we're at a good power level, so we'll leave it here. Uh, we take a gap, then it just gives us room to go or something. But as of right now, you guys see, man, the C6 is putting in work and everything works right now with it. You want to take some Cheerios with you? No, nah, I just brushed my teeth. It's going to make it taste all funny. That's it, take it with you and eat it later. Here, open your mouth. Let me see if I can make it in. Come on. You ready? <laughs> Come on. Give me so you throw it so I can get it. <laughs> I've literally been waiting here all day for this package. And it turns out they delivered it across the street. They did this last time. So, oh. What's cracking, fool? Yo. Hey, bro, the package been here the whole time. They delivered it across the street. Fucking idiots. Bro, they did this last time. I picked the radiator up from across the street. Yeah, that's right. So uh, I was like, it said delivered. I'm like, what the hell? So I went and looked across the street, and for sure enough, it was a package on their porch. I went and checked. It was mine. I'm like, bro. That's all I... Well, hey, if you, you want to head over, we can, we can go now if you want. Yeah, I'm about to load up and head over right now. Hey, that's all, okay. that's all I need to be one of the few black people on the block going to my neighbors and carrying package away, right? Yeah, right. For real. <laughs> Shit. They, they, probably, they probably already think I sell drugs all these cars in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least you got a backing you can show that that ain't the, that ain't the case. But I'm going to load this stuff up and then I'm about to be on my way. Alright, cool. Alright, boy. What? What? Why you didn't go through the garage? Because <laughs> you need to get up and exercise anyway. All right, so I for almost forgot. I need to take these with me. We're going to be swapping these HD belts on. Uh, you guys remember on the dyno, we were having some belt slips. So we're going to get the HD belts on, get this thing tight, and get all the boost back out of it. All right, so we're dropping the C6 off today, and we should be dropping the C5 off tomorrow. That is the plan. I'm really interested in seeing which one of these cars are faster. The C6 has better heads since it's the LS3 heads, but uh, this has 243 heads unported, but it is a 402 stroker motor with a supercharger. Uh, they both run ANA superchargers. Only thing is this one runs more boost, but the supercharger is smaller than the supercharger on the C6. If I was to put this supercharger from the C6 onto the C5 with a better head, this, oh my God, this thing would be insane. So that might, ah. That uh, I might I might turn this car into like my full drag pack car. I already have this the drag pack for it, full set of radio, so I may possibly be doing that with the with the C5. That might be like the the all out gap mobile, possibly putting a, a bigger blower on there. Maybe YSI or something. Let there be cold start. <laughs> Jazz getting here to my boys. He's been over here doing the clutch on this thing. This mismatch straw bearing. Right. Let me get uh, hey. the music off to uh, any copyright issues. <laughs> Man. I had a feeling it was straw bearing. Yeah. This really, this is bad. This is what it's supposed to look like. Normal, rotates, even the body's different. <laughs> that one's seized up too, huh? Well, yeah. Yeah. It's welded to itself. Like, look. Like, even... See how it's, like, bent? I think the clutch, clutch don't look bad at all. Nah. You really don't. This is oh. all whooped, though. Yeah. Trash. That ain't coming off. Dude, it smells funny. You have burnt clutch. Bro, look at the pressure plate! Yeah. Oh, yeah, it broke the fingers. Damn. I mean, it's still salvageable. We can probably put those back in there and Stop use this. <laughs> Damn. It's like leaking pieces. Yeah, the other one's in there too. Garbage. Yep. Don't worry, you poor thing. You will be LS swapped soon. Matter of fact, y'all see this? Huh? I don't even think I've shown them the motor. Oh. Yeah, I already have the motor for it. Ready to go. Ready to go. I literally just need to put the cam in here. But now what I'm thinking is I'm thinking of taking this motor, having it built, throw the Saxby shot Frankenstein heads on, 
uh, just like a fully built LS3. Uh, probably not gonna stroke it. Probably keep a, a LS3 base. That way it's still a 6.2, just forge it and shit. Uh, Saxby shop heads, same intake manifold, everything, and then throw that in the C6 with the supercharger, and then just pull this motor out and put this in here. I think that would be like a smart bet. Cause then we can turn this thing up to the moon. Need a stepping it up. A little six puck gang. It'll be good though for the LS. Yeah, that's why that's why I got the six puck this time. I was like, I'm gonna try this on on the LS. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Sure. At five five hundred horsepower, it should make like four four sixty torque or something. So yeah. I think that'll be a, a good enough clutch for. Her. All right, so we just get here at Saxby shop. You already know we gotta talk over the radio because we got the beat installers over there, so we don't want to get hit with the copyright. <laughs> but we are here, so we're gonna uh, open this little new radiator fan setup, and then we're gonna be getting up out of here. We ain't gonna be here too long. Yeah, get over here, Ray. Don't worry about that cradle, man. Leave that boat in there. Christian, you get over here too, Christian. Christian man, we got it unboxing in this motherfucker, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker do look chunky though. <laughs> this is a, this is the new exclusive, first time ever Sax Fee shop installed, bro. This is the prototype. And I'm and I'm a this prototype. Fat. This ain't no shit. It look fat. This look next this next year shit. It's not on the website yet. Yeah, this next year shit, my oh, dude. Man. This this shit come out next year. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. This is probably what y'all should probably start installing on all of them. What is these for? It's double. Ooh, look at that Healthy wire, motherfucker. boy. You ain't fucking around. I'm doing my bike. God damn, yeah, okay. So supposedly these flow double of the their original dual fan setup. By the way that wire look, it got to. Oh yeah, that's him all the way. That's it. No, We're gonna see if it, if it if it live up to what it's you supposed know, to be. I got spalls in the cutlass right now going crazy. I ain't over here, not one bit. I'm at 100 degree weather, like 190 now. Eric, hey, Eric, everybody vet overheat. Oh, man, <laughs> turn, turn the AC on, it's over. Oh man, I don't know about the best, but uh, I, I see that one. Since we got hardware, every day. my shit cool. Oh, that's just nice. Them small fans go crazy, but they're the best fans. What can say about that one? I'm gonna send it back. Send it back. They said it. They said it should have worked, but they was like, "This is this is the best shit they offer." So if this, if this don't, don't work, much if this don't work, if this don't work, if on. this don't work, Ray, Ray messed up. Yeah, that's what that means. All right, so like I said, this is literally a prototype from Dewitts and. Uh, and spall so specifically for the corvette literally not on the website and we're gonna be like one of the first people to test it i know a guy in florida who builds vets they said uh runs the setup i guess this is a setup that he requested but i wish i could really find out who it was get his name and everything that way i can like kind of pick his brain and, and get some info from him but supposedly this is the the best thing that they have to offer for the c6 right now so we're gonna try it out and hopefully um hopefully this fixes our kind of like in the in the hot weather with AC on uh, issue. All right, so y'all can see we back over here at White Aaron's now. Look at that, all lubed up now. Man, this other one was all dry. Even where the pivot ball goes, there was like nothing on it. No yeah. spit, nothing. Nothing. I mean, they did that lady dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that as a souvenir. Right, that's a garage ornament now. When I'm rich and famous, I'll turn this into a gold-plated old dusty thrall bearing. <laughs> All right, back on the floor now. Bam! It would have been nice if this was a transition from, oh, back on the floor, look, it's LS swapped. It will, <laughs> don't worry. Hopefully it moves. Yeah, baby! Dude, her car needs a wash, bad. I know, I'm gonna spray it down right now. Uh, uh, hey, Aaron doing the Aaron. Yeah. Hey, look. Hella soft, huh? Super. Like some butt cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just getting back home. Uh, car rides good. We're about to be swapping this hood. I already called my boy Paradox, and he said that he could wrap it uh, sometime this week. Your car's back. It's back? My baby? You so, want to swap this hood or what? It was just the clutch? Yeah. That throw bearing was all messed up. Oh, okay. You want to put that hood on there? The blue one? Yeah. But it's going to be mix match. So, Paradox said he'll wrap it for me on Wednesday. Alright, so here it is. Hood on. You guys remember this thing flew up on me, so there's a little crack right here. Maybe tomorrow I'll go to Jesse, have him tape this off, and just repair this. That way, when Paradox wraps over it, you don't see it. 
I think that's really it. I don't think nothing else will, would really show. Everything's lined up cool. Yep, lined up good. Looks pretty sick. Hella like the way her car looks, just simple and clean. Almost ready for the LS3 swap. All right, here you go. Thank you. Go driving around, see how the clutch feels. Filling out the engagement point. It's hella higher up compared to where it was before, but that's just how the Z1 clutch feels. She's off. 